I think one thing you have to have is an interest and a curiosity. You have to enjoy working with your hands. You have to enjoy going from basically a just raw material to a finished usable product. My name is Bill Merka and I'm the Senior Research Instrumentation Specialist, which is just a fancy name for a master glass blower. There's several facets of glass blowing. It's to be able to be creative, to uh, work on different projects all the time where you're not just stuck building one thing day after day after day and to work with brilliant minds and brilliant people and uh, be able to facilitate their dreams and their ideas and, and actually be a small part of some of the great research that's being done here at AM. At one time we did teach graduate students a glass blowing class. Some of the glassware that they use, how difficult and what went into building some of the, the glassware that they're using every day that maybe they took for granted. And even when somebody's not watching, do the best job you can every time because it will pay back in spades. You've got to uh, be able to persevere through something. You know, if you worked on something for four days and it cracks on the inside, you've got to scrap that whole piece of glassware and, and start over. Oftentimes there's many steps to building a complex piece of glassware. You gotta want to get it done. You gotta really feel like I'm the only person that can do this and I'm, I'm gonna do it. 